So there are special cases in nodal analysis. The first case is when a voltage source is connected between a node and the non-reference node. So for this circuit, we have a reference node right here. And uh, two non-reference nodes, we have this node here, one, or so let's say this V1, and then we have V2. Now, if you take a look at this 100 volt voltage source, it is connected between this node V1 right here and the reference node. When a voltage source is connected between a non reference node and the reference node, so the voltage at that node is equivalent to the value of the voltage source. So meaning, node voltage V1 is equivalent to 100 volts. So to find V2, for this example, you just need to apply KCL at this node. So KCL at node V2. We have V2. We have three currents. Current right here. And then this current source. PCL at node B2, we have B2 minus B1 over N plus B2 over 50 minus 5 to 0. So having the value of V1 as 100 volts. So we can solve directly for V2. So V2 is just equivalent to 125 volts. So another special case in nodal analysis is when a voltage source is connected between non-reference nodes. So the voltage source can either be a dependent or independent voltage source. For this example right here, we have this dependent voltage source connected between two non-reference nodes. So this node and this node. So obviously, we have this node here the bottom as our reference node. Let's label this as V1, V2, and V3. So when a voltage source is connected between two non-reference nodes, or between non-reference nodes, it is called a super node. So what is a super node? So to demonstrate what a super node is, so first let's uh, let's apply. I mean, let's assume a direction of the current in this branch to be in that direction, and then label this as current I. So applying KCL at V two, KCL at V two. We have V2 here, the current here, current going down, and then this current I. So we have V2 minus V1 over 5 plus V2 over 50 plus I equivalent to 
zero. Now, if you apply KCL at uh, node B3, KCL at node B3, we have node B3, we have this current I right here, right, right here, and okay, current first. So we have negative i plus b3 over 100 minus 4 equivalent to 0. So if you express this i in terms of b3, we have i just equivalent to b3 over 100 minus and this equation. Now we use this equation to substitute value of i here. So equation at the top becomes v2 minus v1 over 5 plus V2 over 50 plus V3 over 100 minus 4 plus 2, 0. Now let's leave this equation as is. So let's apply the concept of a super node. So what is a super node? Remember a super node is when a voltage source is connected between two non-reference nodes. So we treat the two non-reference nodes as super node, meaning that we treat them as one node. Them as a super node. So if you apply ACL at super node. So we have V2 and V3. So KCL at super node, we have V2 right here and then. V3. So V2 has print right here, print right here, and V3 has print going this direction and going down. So this right here is our per node. So if apply KCL at that super node, we have V2 minus v1 over 5 plus v2 over 50 plus current right here we have v3 over 100 and this current from the current source minus 4 plus 2 0 so we we'll take a look at this equation This is just the same in this equation. We have equation 1. So we all know from looking at the circuit, the 50 volt uh, voltage source is connected to V1 and the reference node to V1 is just equivalent to 50 volts. So V1 Oops. We have this uh, value of this variable. So the unknown variables are V2 
and V3. So we only have one equation. So where do we get the second equation? So we get the second equation at the super node. So looking at the super, super node, we have a uh, voltage source. So the voltage source is so at super node. The voltage source is 10 I phi. So 10 I phi is just equivalent to V3 minus V2. Looking at the circuit, the positive uh, terminals of this voltage source connected to V3 and the negative terminals of this voltage source is connected to V2. So I, uh, 10 I phi equivalent to V3 minus V2. Now we have equation number 2. So looking at the, cir at the circuit, uh, we all know that I phi uh, I phi is equivalent to V2 minus V1 all over 5. So this equation right here becomes 2 times V2 minus V1 plus 2 V minus V2. We have a value of this. So using these two equations right here, Let's label this as uh, equation 3. So using equation 1 and equation 3, we can now solve for the values of V3 and V2. So by substitution, V2, we can obtain the values of V2 and V3. So V2 is 60 volts and V3 is 80 volts. So having a value of V2, you can now solve the answer for IV. IV is just V2 minus V1 over I, which is equivalent to 2 amperes.